here today and talk about a subject that's really important to me and really close to my heart and that is how to manage and control your asthma. It's important to me because I have been an asthmatic my entire life. I'm a chronic asthmatic. Uh, ever since I was a child, I developed asthma very early on and continue to have it um, to a pretty um, severe degree, even as an adult. Although my doctors would classify my asthma as mild to moderate, I still experience wheezing every day and I'm dependent on the spray almost every single day of my life. But in, sorry, but in the recent past, I've been able to bring my asthma into some kind of control where I can go for certain or a few days at a time without depending on the medication. And uh, it's been a few very specific changes that I've made. Uh, and I wanted to talk to you about that today because it's really helped me uh, reduce my symptoms, reduce my dependency on the spray and to just breathe easy. So um, I have these points down. Uh, there's just a few of them. And the most important point I'm going to address towards the end. So hold on. Listen to what I have to say, hopefully, and we'll get to the end and I'll talk about the most important thing which has been a game changer for my asthma. Uh, so I'd like to start off with the first point and that is maintaining a healthy weight. Obesity is a major risk factor for uh, developing asthma and not only developing asthma, but even if you have asthma and you are obese, then recovery from it is harder. And I don't want to get into the science of it, but feel free to research it. There's a lot of information out there around how uh, your immunity is compromised, your body is pro-inflammatory. There's a lot of great information out there. Uh, I hope you can get your hands on it. But my advice is try to get to a healthy weight. I was an overweight child and right throughout early adulthood to a couple of years, no, to three years back, I was obese. I was 110 kgs. I managed to lose about 40 kgs and come to a healthy weight and I noticed that my asthma got a lot better. So if you are overweight, try to focus on uh, getting to a healthy weight range as one of the first things to do to uh, manage your asthma better. The second thing is diet. Um, there are some very specific things in my diet I noticed were uh, exacerbating my asthma symptoms uh, and it's particularly and I know this so clearly because I think I've just been like very aware and always trying to get a handle on my asthma so specifically Hagiram's uh, namkeen like all of them the cup a cup and a half a handful um, you know more than like just like one spoon or so like I would feel my asthma coming back. Um, I would start to feel a little breathless and uneasy. Right now, I stay away from all of these Hadiram snacks. And the other thing is cream biscuits. It's very specific, but yes, any biscuit which has kind of like a cream filling um, and um, like a Oreo or like a, what's that called? Pure Magic? Yeah. Um, I stay away from those because I've noticed that that sort of makes my asthma worse. Um, and also these uh, packaged cakes like your fruit cake or plum cake or whatever which comes in like a packet and has like a really really long expiry date like six months or so those things really make my asthma worse so I have tried to stay away from them um, very strictly in the last three years and I think that's really helped and coming to what I've added into my diet uh, I have added vitamin C in the form of a kiwi every single day and this has been such a huge game changer. Uh, I, I don't know if I was vitamin C deficient uh, at one point, uh, but I do know that there is some research out there which links having like good vitamin C intake every day to uh, being able to manage your, uh, manage wheezing asthma symptoms better. Kiwi is actually um, one of the highest vitamin C uh, carrying fruits in the world. In fact, it's uh, better than an orange. And so I started having a kiwi every single day and I think that that has definitely played a major role uh, in, you know, uh, sort of a diet intervention for asthma. The next thing is I have also made my diet a little bit more uh, seafood and egg uh, heavy. Um, so what I mean by that is I started eating egg whites and I started eating uh, fish 
it can be anything, uh, salmon or white fish. If you have access to, uh, you know, really good quality fish, which is not farmed in like shady conditions uh, and uh, you can guarantee the quality of the fish, uh, by all means, try to see if you can add more fish to your diet and uh, even more egg whites. And I think that that can also make a huge difference because it certainly did for me. Uh, coming to the next point, um, I think that my immediate environment, and this is something that I know in retrospect because I have uh, really thought about it, your immediate environment matters a lot. So just to give you some context on my living conditions in the past when my asthma has been really bad, is uh, my room was pretty dingy, uh, cut off from natural sunlight and open air um, and um, I I was staying, my house was next to a granite cutting uh, factory and, and, and it was also in one of the uh, drier air conditions the city was just very dry um, and uh, with higher temperatures so I don't think that that helped my situation at all because now where I am it's very humid and it's very sunny and my house is completely lit up with direct sunlight in fact this video is being shot with all of the natural sunlight that I have in my room. So if you have the opportunity to choose your settings, to uh, choose your house, try to find a place which is not dingy, which doesn't have corners in the house, which are completely cut off from sunlight. Basically what I'm trying to say is don't create opportunities where mold can develop, where wood uh, you know, can disintegrate. Check if your bed has any mold in it. Uh, make sure that your room is getting access to like, you know, fresh air and direct sunlight. And obviously keep the place like dust free. Make sure that you have someone who's coming and cleaning up for you. Um, and obviously like, you know, avoid things like staying next to like a granite cutting uh, factory if possible. So immediate environment is really, really important. And when I changed my environment, I think that really sort of changed um, how often my asthma was kicking in um, and uh, coming to my next point I think this is the uh, fourth point um, is having the right kind of physical activity so for me physical activity is very tricky because if I do something super intense I know my asthma is going to kick in I know I'm going to start wheezing and honestly sometimes even yoga has done it for me where it has sort of excessive exacerbated my symptoms and I come back from a yoga session feeling uneasy so what worked best for me is what they call low intensity steady state which is you have a slightly elevated heartbeat for a longer period of time as opposed to like an intensely elevated heartbeat for a shorter period of time which is what your HRID and things like that are so um, the exercises that really worked for me to sort of improve my lung power are swimming and walking of course, if you don't have access to a pool, it's completely understandable. Um, not everyone does uh, and neither did I for majority of when I was trying to get my asthma under control. Um, but at least walking. Try to, when you head out, wear a mask and go for a nice brisk walk for about 45 minutes to an hour every day. What this does is it helps your um, you know, lungs get a good amount of exercise and without stressing it out too much. And in general, like, uh, you know, exercise is uh, really recommended. So why not try it as one of the ways to um, get your asthma in control? And now coming to my last point about the most important factor in getting my asthma under control and experiencing my symptoms less and less has been vitamin D. Now, before I get into this, I would urge you to go and check out the uh, Joe Rogan and Dr. Rhonda Patrick's um, most recent uh, podcast where Dr. Rhonda Patrick speaks about the importance of uh, vitamin D in lung power and lung function and respiratory health. Uh, they do a brilliant job of explaining it. I don't want to get into the specific too much because I don't think I'll be able to do as good a job but I urge you to go check it out I will put the link down below with the timings please go check it out but for me the single most important thing which has been a game changer in getting my asthma under control is getting sufficient sunlight especially Indians people of color tend to be uh, heavily uh, vitamin D deficient uh, or moderately vitamin D deficient and if we have asthma, it's even more important for us to know if we are deficient and to start supplementing on the right amount of vitamin D into our system. 
like um, the, they say that the best way to get vitamin D is to go out in the sunlight and the morning sun is the best way to do it. So in the previous uh, point that I was talking about which is to try and get some amount of moderate activity and exercise in, maybe you can club that with trying to get some exercise in. Without fail, try to wake up in the morning, early morning sun's rays for at least a half an hour in a day maybe. Try to get a test done, see where you stand, what your vitamin D numbers look like and if you are deficient, maybe you can consider supplementing with a vitamin D supplement. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, these are my major tips. Uh, keep in mind a few things to note here. If you do all of these things successfully for a period of time and you manage to get your asthma in control um, and then you sort of let go of these habits, uh, the asthma is going to come back. So it really has to be like a... Uh, complete and total change and something that you maintain for the rest of your life um, and also if you uh, do just one of these things I don't think it will work as effectively um, as if you're doing um, a little bit of all of these things that I mentioned um, at the end of the day asthma is a challenging disease and it is very debilitating so it will need a little bit more effort and commitment uh, to uh, get into control um, but if I did it you certainly can and a few disclaimers here uh, as of now there is no cure for asthma uh, it's very hard to pinpoint the uh, cause of asthma and there are many different types uh, but uh, in general you um, should work with a doctor you should get on a course of medication that are preventive as well as helps you manage uh, an episode of wheezing or an asthmatic episode but also consider these therapeutic measures they really work for me and i urge you to try them and i hope it works for you